Welcome to a tutorial on RNAV for dummies and today we're on a flight from uh, Los Angeles to San Diego and you can see by the weather that it's quite rough outside so we don't know Canadian how well Express the passengers will be upon Express arrival <laughs> but uh, you can see on the weather forecast we've got some nasty weather uh, and uh, we're going to be doing an RNAV approach into San Diego and uh, hopefully uh, from this tutorial you'll be able to do the RNAV approach and it's not that difficult however uh, when you look at some of the tutorials on the internet particularly by certified pilots etc they make it <laughs> seem very complicated so we're going to do show uh, that it is really simple but we're using also a pilot to ATC and that's what uh, I really pr uh, pr primarily want to show is how to use it in connection with pilot to ATC because w with pilot to ATC um, it already programs into your uh, flight management system the uh, proper approach but uh, pilot to ATC also will divert you on the approach to San Diego and so how do you get back on track and uh, how do you use the RNAV what do you uh, push uh, to connect to the RNAV do you use the approach button do you use the landing system what do you use and the fact that you use two GPS signals when you're approaching so I want to spend a bit of time on how to properly use that so the first thing we want to do is look at the actual uh, charts and the approach to runway 27 and you can see on the chart that it gives you the uh, uh, proper altitude and the step down uh, uh, altitudes for the approach into runway 27 at San Diego and we're going to use the RNAV approach to uh, properly guide the plane into that. Canadian Express 587 turn left heading 117. Heading 117 so Canadian when you Express actually look at what Pilot ATC has programmed into the flight management system, you can see that it has properly configured the altitudes for the step down approach into runway 27 however we've already received instructions from air traffic control that will divert us from this path and so the question is uh, uh, we're not we're not on our navigation system now we're dependent on on the uh, pilot to ATC air traffic control and they're not going to follow the RNAV uh, direction they're just going to give you a set of directions to connect to it so how do you connect back to your nav and get back on nav and and when do you use the uh, R nav and the final approach so that's what we're going to look at next so we're no longer following the uh, nav programmed into our FMS we're following the directions of the air traffic controller and we're descending to 6,000 feet as instructed flight level 100 and it, the air traffic controller will direct us to the final uh, approach but uh, how to connect to the R nav and the uh, directional signals so that's what we're going to pursue at this point and uh, as I uh, just showed you there you need to be connected to two GPS signals one for the uh, navigation and the other for the um, lateral uh, the deviation and so uh, that's uh, those are the two signals that you need in order to do an RNAV approach so we're following the instructions of air traffic control and descending to 6,000 feet you can see that as we're coming now in stop. now and as we've descended below the 10,000 um, foot mark that we're also getting the instructions from the cabin crew to take a seat and fasten your seat belt and uh, seeing as there's quite a bit of terrain around you might want to put on the um, 
uh, terrain radar and check the altitude and you, we can see that on the terrain radar that there are mountains in the vicinity of 6,000 feet so you don't want to go below that particularly in this kind of visibility so um, follow the instructions of the air traffic control and they'll guide you to the correct uh, position for the approach So we are approaching the first leg, and the air traffic controller will be coming on telling us to make a turn into that first leg. And uh, then when we come out of the final leg, we want to connect to our nav again, and then also set up for the RNAV approach. And uh, so that's, that's what we're heading into now. You can see the weather has not uh, improved at all, although there are occasional clearing patches but we hope that we have some visibility as we uh, come in for the final approach into runway 27 at San Diego because it is an interesting approach and uh, it uh, very flies right in over the city so it's uh, you want to be on an accurate approach it's not a VFR approach that's for sure Canadian Express 587 turn right heading 185 descend and maintain 5000 feet altimeter 3023 at San Diego International. Alright, so the uh, air traffic controller has just given us the instructions for the second leg of the approach. And when we hit the final, then we'll uh, be looking to set up our navigation uh, to get, get in line with two things really. We need to get in line with our. Uh, uh, navigation back into what's programmed into our FMS because you have to be on your uh, flight management system to make an RNAV approach uh, because you're not uh, given any um, lateral uh, localizer uh, signal at all to come in on so you have to to use your uh, what's programmed into your flight management system and then you're also given a signal for the um, uh, deviation uh, which uh, the um, vertical deviation so those are the two signals that you use for the RNAV approach all right so we've given the uh, altitude request for 4,000 feet and if you remember from our charts that that's the altitude that we need to uh, be at to intercept the uh, approach into San Diego for runway 27. So we're getting close to uh, our position where we need to align ourselves to the runway. Now star. Okay, as we're coming out of the final leg here, as directed by the air traffic controller, we now need to align ourselves with the runway. And you do that using your flight management system. Uh, that's already programmed into your flight management system. So you just have to go to it and select the first waypoint for the approach. And you uh, connect to that so that you have the lateral um, uh, almost like a localizer for giving you the correct uh, alignment with the runway laterally. And then you use the RNAV signal for the uh, vertical uh, alignment called the vertical deviation. And you use the approach button to select that. You do not use the Tower localizer Canadian button. Express you do not use the um, uh, ILS Canadian approach. Express you do not use the landing system. You just use the Contact. approach button. Continue. And that will uh, kick in the uh, RNAV alignment and give you the uh, vertical deviation. So uh, initially, we're currently below the vertical deviation. And we're using actually a speedy co-pilot. So we actually have a co-pilot <coughs> with us in the cockpit and they do a lot of the prep stuff for landing, takeoff, etc. So uh, all we have to do is concentrate on what the captain would normally do. So we're just a little bit below the vertical deviation signal at this point, but it uh, will be coming down. And as you can Final see, the approach. signal is moving down now. And when that aligns, then it acts like the glide slope to bringing you in at the correct glide slope. 
for the uh, approach to runway 27 at San Diego Airport. And uh, this is quite an interesting approach, actually, as we'll be flying in uh, right over the city. And we actually will probably get terrain warning because uh, some of the buildings, <laughs> when you're coming into San Diego, uh, it's quite amazing, actually, because you, it's the runway is very close to the center of the town. And uh, it's like flying right by. You can wave at people in the apartments pretty much uh, as you're flying below the, uh, the apartment levels uh, on the approach here. So I, I like flying into this airport because it's kind of a, a cool, uh, cool approach as compared to a lot of runways that are in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so this, uh, this approach into San Diego and uh, Mr. X has done a good job at developing uh, this airport, I actually downloaded his airport and uh, the surrounding scenery, so it's uh, quite a quite an interesting approach. But we're uh, ready to come in now. We're uh, locked in on the signal, and uh, the weather has cleared enough for us to have a visual approach to the uh, site to the runway. So. That's always good. There's still quite a bit of active weather in the area. However, as you see, lightning flashes in the distance. We've turned on our windshield wiper so that uh, we keep a bit of the rain off of the window. But uh, this is um, <coughs> coming in now to the uh, to the final approach, and we're just allowing the signal to uh, from this uh, vertical deviation to guide our plane in on the uh, correct setting and you can see that it, as you change speeds it's not it doesn't hold quite as well as an ILS approach and that's why you want to have your speed set quite a bit before the uh, actual runway so that uh, um, it's lined up perfectly and you're not coming in too high or too low because the uh, uh, you really need there's very little tolerance on the approach to runway 27 at uh, San Diego and uh, using the RNAV approach, it's as good as an ILS approach. Um, you have the uh, correct signal programmed into your flight management system to line you with the runway, and the uh, RNAV uh, vertical deviation system will guide your plane in on the correct Bravo approach. So uh, just enjoy coming in, and uh, as you can see, you can wave to the people in the apartments as you go by. <laughs> It's it, it's quite a an interesting uh, approach to the runway where the city is just a little close to an active runway, and I wouldn't want to be living seven. in the apartment buildings uh, just at the end of the runway here, as you have traffic flying within a few <laughs> few feet of you all the time coming in. And I noticed on the last approach here as well that. Uh, you only clear uh, one of the hydro lines there by a few feet, so you have to be spot on on your approach. And um, the RNAV system will guide you in, and you'll just have to pay attention to it as you're uh, set up for the approach and understanding uh, the two alignments that are needed to make a successful RNAV approach. And so now we're just touching down, and uh, it looks like a safe landing. And uh, everything looks uh, looks good. Brown spoilers. Five thousand feet remaining. Do you want the APU? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the airport. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe for you to move about. Mobile phones may only be used once the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned off. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have brought on board with you and please use caution when opening the overhead bins as heavy articles may have shifted around during the flight. If you require deplaning assistance, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have deplaned. 
one of our crew members will then be pleased to assist you. On behalf of our airline and the entire crew, I do like to thank you for joining us on this yeah, trip. Clear of active Canadian Express 587. Canadian Express 587, welcome to San Diego International Contact, ground on 123.9. Good day. Ground on 123.9, Canadian Express 587. Okay, we're going to just review the landing um, and see if the RNAV brought us in correctly for a an RNAV approach to the runway 27 at San Diego International Airport. And it looks like uh, it's pretty spot on. Uh, it gives a correct glide slope coming down. As you can see, that <laughs> you only clear the uh, hydro pole there by a few feet. So why they have a hydro pole right, right smack at the end of the runway, I, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, you're clear of it, uh, just following the signals and uh, down for a safe touchdown and it looks like a good landing, if I don't say so myself. Now, this is a replay mode. I don't remember that plane being there on the runway when we touched down. It's interesting how all of a sudden the plane got inserted in our replay mode, but uh, that's one of the mysteries, probably something to do with the... Uh, plug-in that I have for world traffic. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have questions.